we go. Um, Wednesday webinar at one o'clock. So we're we've been here a couple minutes. But we have a couple things that we've been working on. We're super excited about um, in terms of integration with High Level and with IDX Broker. Maida, do you want to get us started and show us what you've been working on? Mm, sure. Hello, everyone. I'm going to show you some updates related to IVX Broker and IVX Arons, uh, .com. So the first uh, thing I want to show you is related to the Plum Home Valuation Widget. This is an update and also to like uh, give a quick tour of how it works in case you're using high level and you want this integration. So uh, the update that we did to this widget is that now it's going to request the contact information before showing the home valuation. So whenever you enter an address, it's going to show this form. So you can get this lead first name, last name, email, phone, and the purpose. If they are buying or selling this address that they entered. So I'm going to make a quick live demo. I have it already here in my, well, this is a page where we can test uh, some things. But first I want to show you something related to Plunk. Just a second. Well, only so you know that this is the Plunk Home Valuation Widget. Here you need to enter um, your phone number. This phone number is uh, the one uh, where you are going to receive uh, notifications when someone requests market insights. And you have here some other settings that you can customize, for example, adding a logo or changing here the content of the market insights. I'm going to show you here an example. Here you can see the usage, the requests that have been made for valuations and for market insights in case someone has requested a market insight. And here you can connect to high level. There, there's going to be a button that says connect to high level. And the idea of this is that if you enable this option, we are going to create a new contact in high level and we are going to add a note uh, with this new contact that they requested more information for the address that they are entering. So I'm going to do a test to show you how this works. And I'm going to use the same address that we always use for our test. This one. So here I'm going to enter some uh, fake values. Let's say I am Larry Volkman. And this is my phone number. And I am buying this home. So I'm going to submit this. And now it's going to show me the valuation. At this moment, it should have created, um, well, first here I can see in the set, in the requests that Gary Oldman requested a home valuation for this address. And in high level, Mm -hmm. I need to see here that Gary Oldman was created. I can see him here. And here in the notes, I'm going to see that he requested uh, this uh, valuation for this address. But what happens if they request uh, for the market insights? They would need to click here on confirm. And the market insights are going to be sent to this phone number um, and they can check it uh, whenever they want. But the market insights are going to look something like this. I'm going to refresh here the page. So you can see that Barry Oldman requested the market insight. But if I open this link, it's going to look something like this. 
and it's going to uh, display the market insights for this uh, area. Mm -hmm. So this is related to the plan home valuation. I don't know if you have any comments or questions. I have a question, Maida. Yeah, sure. You know how you have a number of usage for the valuations and the is one valuation, one usage, and then the market insights another usage, or is it just one? Does it count as one? They count as one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have another question, Mayra. Is it possible to save the valuation price? Uh, yes, I think we could save it or store it somewhere. I mean, we don't have this functionality yet, but I think we could add here a column. So you know what the value of that home was in that date, in that particular date. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's being saved in high level, isn't it, Maida? No, it doesn't say that. It it only says that, uh, for example, here, plan home valuation request for this address oh. and the purpose they are buying. So we could add here something else that says the price of the property. Mm -hmm. No more questions. I... <laughs> no, it's okay. Do you have any other question? No, thank you. No, it's okay. <laughs> well, this is related to the plan convolution and we can add more features to it. Mm -hmm. And now I want to talk to you about something that we have that it's a webhook URL. I hope this is not like very complex, but once I have explained it, uh, I think it's going to be very useful and powerful for your needs. So this webhook URL, uh, it's like an endpoint or link that we are providing. So you can send uh, your high level contacts to IDX broker automatically. Uh, the idea is that you create a workflow. We provide one, example in our snapshot uh, with this uh, endpoint. But the idea is that you can customize it to fit your needs uh, in case you want to only send the contacts after a tag has been added or if the contact was created after um, submitting a survey. But um, you can find this webhook on this link. I'm going to show you an example of how this works. And um, I think it's going to be more clear. So uh, you can find this webhook endpoint on this page. We're providing this URL that you can add um, to a workflow. And here we also have a tutorial that explains step by step what you need to do uh, to create this workflow in case you want to do this uh, by yourself. But um, for this particular purpose, I already have it here, here. Well, this is another one, but I'm going to use the same, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Here it says that I'm going to send the contact to IDX broker, and I'm also going to assign him a save it link. Mm -hmm. So this workflow is going to be triggered whenever I add this tag, I want to send them to IDX broker. And here I have added the endpoint that is provided. Let me close this and this. That is provided here. Mm -hmm. But as I'm also going to assign a separate link, I mean, it's going to be the same endpoint, endpoint but I'm going to also add this uh, at the end. And well, let's say that I already have this uh, URL. I can see here that I'm going to add a user. Uh, it's requesting my key the location ID, and I also want to assign a search to this new contact that I'm going to send uh, to IDX broker. To get this um, assigned search, 
I need to go here to IDX broker to the middleware and you need to go to design website save it links and here uh, I created a save it link that is going to um, show properties in Miami Beach and Miami Gardens. So I'm going to get this ID from this particular save it link. And I, whenever this new contact is going to be created, I also, I'm also going to add him this assigned or save it link or the save it search. So they have something in their account. So they start receiving notifications for, for new properties. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, and also to finish configuring this uh, webhook endpoint, I need to pass here the information of the contact, first name, last name, email, phone, contact ID. So we can add uh, this information to the lead connector dashboard. Mm -hmm. And finally, the, we are going to add the IDX lead tag. So, um, I'm going to create a new contact so you can see how this works. Let's call it um, one, one what? Let me guess. Let's put it like this. And let's say that Juan was created uh, after filling a survey or something else. And now I want to send it uh, to IDX broker. So I, in my particular case, I would need to add this tag to the to this contact. So in my case, it's sent to IDX. So this should start triggering the workflow. And now I can go back here to IDX broker to the leads, and it's going to create this new lead in, inside IDX broker, and they are going to have a save it search that is in this case, Miami Beach and Gardens. And they are going to have the same search criteria that we set in this save it link. So the idea with this is that for now you can create this new lead in IDX broker and you assign them a search. Maybe you can create for now different workflows. Like, okay, if they submitted this survey uh, for people that are interested in Miami Beach homes, you can assign them directly the save it link. And I can see here in my dashboard for now, that the save it search was also created. Well, I can see here Juan Dominguez as a new lead. And here I can see that. Well, they have this save it property search. Mm -hmm. And maybe you will have many questions. Um, Okay, I'm reading here the chat. What's the use case for this? Yes, I mean, for now it's our like first version of creating a save it search for a lead. And in this case, we're assigning a save it link. In case you are focusing on properties in a particular area, in my case, this is for example, Miami Beach. And I know that maybe they are filling a form or something else. Uh, we are going to assign them at the same time uh, a search while we are working on how to create a custom uh, save it search for these uh, for the leads. Mm -hmm. Do you have any comments or questions or something that was not clear? I think it looks great, Maida. Um, that's that's pretty cool. So what I can do as a real estate agent is I can just create some safe searches. Like say I work in Dallas, I can have homes in Dallas for sale, and I have another one that's condos in Dallas for sale, and maybe another one that's homes in Fort Worth, and another one that's condos in Fort Worth. 
So I can just set those up so that it's it automates that flow. Like you're saying, if somebody fills out a form on my website or they respond to a Facebook ad or something like that, I can assign them whichever, whichever safe search would be appropriate for their situation. So I, I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're trying to automate the process. This is like the first uh, version of it. And we are still working on it. Other features, like I said before, like to create a custom uh, save it search, but doing this like more automatically. Okay, cool. <laughs> but that would be all for IDX broker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any, I appreciate you sharing that with us, Maya. That's that's exciting. So that's that's actually something people have asked us for for quite a bit is how can I move leads inside of high level over to IDX broker? What you're saying, this is the way that you can do it. Whether or not you assign a safe search is you can just send all your, your leads that you're getting in high level over to IDX broker. Cause we already have a tool that brings it over from IDX broker to high level. And so now they can move them both ways. Is that going to be a problem? Are those syncing together? We see that they're the same person. Is that how that works? Um, well, um, if you are not using the assigned search and you are only sending uh, the high level contact to IDX broker, we are checking if the lead already exists. And if it does, we only like map them. Okay. But in this particular case of the assigned search, I mean, it's not compulsory at all. You can skip that uh, extra step. Uh, okay. We only add it if it's a new lead inside IDX broker. Very good. All right. So, Carlos, do you want to show us what you've been working on? Thank you, Maida. That's that's fantastic. I appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Well, last week we were uh, showing you the new agency dashboard. That is a a way for agencies to onboard new clients and also keep the the or or know what is the next step in order to to uh, install a uh, set up idx set up the domain uh, see what apps can i activate and this is the main page where you can see all your clients you can add a new client by adding by using an api key but now i want to show you the new uh, update that we did that is about high level integration here you just need to click on connect with high level and you will select your your account and the a new tab will be enabled here high level where you can start seeing what is the next step for your clients in order to complete all the apps that we have for high level and all the integrations the first one will be a, enable custom field and just by clicking here it will redirect you to the exact page where you can start uh, implementing this app and you will be logged in as this user so you just need to to click on that user and start setting things up for example if you need to complete the dashboard setup it will take you to that page and it will also tell you in what step you are in case you you don't complete it yet and also a uh, it will tell you which apps uh, we have an integration for high level. So we we hope this uh, update help you to onboard new clients and new iPhone Finder clients. We also have uh, the ability here of ordering an IDX Connect um, in with a, a simple form that will uh, send you that will send us uh, an email with all the necessary information to start working on, on this website. And also you can uh, create a one-click website uh, directly here. And you can start uh, having a, a, a high-level website for this client in, in record time. So this agency dashboard is already available for all agencies at agency idxadons.com. I will leave you the link on the chat. 
So you can start uh, adding new clients and also using all these tools that we have prepared for you. We hope that the next action uh, feature will help you to know what is uh, next for this client in order to complete the, the setup. Um, if you have any, any comments or any questions, please let us know. We always like to hear your feedback. Thank you, Carlos, that's fantastic. So now it just shows where they are in the setup process of getting high level integrated into their client site. Is that what you're saying? Yes, exactly. Yeah, from the beginning at, and at the end. Okay, very good. Um, any questions for Carlos about that? Okay. Hey, thanks a ton, Carlos. We appreciate all your work on that. Um, that's pretty much what we have for today. Uh, I'm going to post this video uh, on our Facebook group here um, tomorrow, I assume. Do you have any questions for us, Harvey? I see you here in the in the crowd. Uh, yeah. So. Um... So I'm looking at the, the site um, that y'all built. And when you go to the advanced search, um, it's showing a, a IDX broker URL. Is that how that's supposed to be? Or is it just something I need to adjust? You should have a you should add a C name to it or set up the what's called the custom subdomain. Right. So okay. <clears throat> you, you have already done that? Mm -hmm. Do, can you share the URL with us so we can take a look at it? Um, yeah. So, um, or you can share your screen or whatever makes you happy. So, so it, yeah, if you go there and you click on search, um, the URL ends up with. Oh, I see that. So, so let me do we just, I just need to redirect. I just need to change this button maybe. Well, so the, your your custom subdomain is on your website, but your all your you didn't it didn't get set for your IDX broker. It's not set up right to work with with IDX broker. So what what you want to do mm. is put in. Um, I'll show you this. That should the C name on that should point to subdomains dot idxbroker.com and it's it looks like it's pointing over to your high level site or if you're already going to use it for that you want to leave it I, that I one. well okay. let me, I'll, let, I'll me share. Share. let me turn off our recording here that let me this is um let me turn off the recording here because we don't want this <laughs>